ECOWAS officials and the governor of the region. They acknowledge the value the initiative is bringing to the region. The goal of ECOWAS is the creation of a community without borders, a community where the traffic will be made easier, both for the people and for the goods. And you, the youth of ECOWAS, will start the implementation of these objectives. Your training at the center here was to provide you with the skills and professional awareness that you will use to achieve these goals. Congratulations for your achievement. Keep the good job going. Work hard. Be daring. Be brave. Use your imagination and success will come. The trainees were presented with their certificates of attendance. This engineering experience had transformed the trainees. In one month at the referral center, they had been provided with the expertise they were lacking. A new vista of opportunities was opened for them. Mamadou Suma from Matam, Guinea Conakry, believes his technical deficiencies of the past have been cured by the one month experience in Zinyari. He also had problems with working tools, but Zinyari has changed this. Bon, en fait, lorsqu'on m'a dit que la formation devrait avoir lieu au Burkina ici, euh, puisque je ne savais pas euh, sur quelle partie exactement en froid la formation était axée. Du moment... So before he had a few notions on uh, refrigerators and air conditions, but now he has improved uh, his skills. Mbaya Ahiel also believes that he is now equipped with the skills to open the workshop he has been dreaming about. Now with this train now, I'm a professional air condition and refrigerator repair now. So I will set up my own company, and I'll have to call it like that, so that I will become employer of labor now. There is also an intangible facet to the Zinyari experience. It facilitates the building of bonds between West Africa's youths, thereby helping the region's integration agenda. The ECOWAS Vision 2020 is of an ECOWAS of the people. Bringing together youths from the 15 ECOWAS member states creates the sparks which ignite the passion for unity. In spite of the language barrier, spending one month together gave these youths better understanding of each other as West Africa strives to become one community. These are the future leaders who, with the right orientation, can drive the quest for regional integration. My stay here is kind of wonderful because I've met so many people, I've met, I've made so many friends. We, beaucoup, many, many, so much, many friends. I have uh, some friends for this uh, uh, during of the, my uh, stay here because uh, from uh, uh, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, uh, Anglophone and the Lusophone. We had the option of um, choosing training centers in the 15 member states and asking member states to uh, nominate their six participants and we could send them to their own state. But we felt that that would not achieve the objective of integration. Um, last year, a, two of the candidates who went to the training center in Zinyari stayed back because they made friends and they actually found that they could continue their training there. And some actually made requests, how do I register for a full course at that center? And so that is part of the objective. Uh, you can imagine an environment where 90 young men and women from 15 member states speaking different languages with various backgrounds come to share the same experience in training and in social interaction over 30 days. They must take something out of it. Francis says ECOWAS hopes to increase the number of trainees if the institution can find the necessary finances. Uh, funding 
funding, um, we would like to train much more people, many more young men and women. Uh, 90 is, is insignificant uh, compared to the large number of uh, youth who need the training. Uh, we started by asking member states to send three candidates for a two-month program. Uh, we did our calculation and thought that we could expand it to six per country by reducing the number of uh, days of training, achieving the same result, and we did that. Uh, arguments have been made to the effect that we could split the sessions, uh, send countries by language, send the English-speaking countries to English-speaking uh, environments, uh, which would reduce the logistic cost of bringing everybody to the same place, because then you could work on proximity. And countries close to those areas could go by road rather by air, and that could save some costs that would enable you to bring in more people. But we believe also that with the publicity we are trying to give to the program, donors can come in, and we're beginning to receive uh, requests and the interest uh, is being shown by some, some um, donors. We now need to follow up on those areas to see that we uh, are able to obtain funding from partners to implement some of these programs that will help us to expand. The ECOWAS Youth Empowerment Program in Zinieri is laying the foundation for critical socio-economic growth in the region. Youths are the most affected by the high unemployment level which is making many governments in the region uneasy. Providing even a small segment of these youths with vocational skills every year is a small gesture, but the multiplier effect could be substantial. Priska, Mbaya and their colleagues, just like other youths ECOWAS has trained here, live with value added for themselves and their countries. They can now be gainfully employed with the skills they acquire. They can start their own business and become employers of labor. They can also transfer their acquired skills to others and start off a chain of technology transfer, bringing change to their immediate communities. Whichever they choose to do, a few more youths have been taking off West Africa's army of the unemployed because of the Zinyari exposure. However, their plans and dreams are sometimes hampered by financing. Low access to capital is a major obstacle to starting a small or medium-scale enterprise in many West African countries. ECOWAS recognizes this and provides a small grant to each trainee, but it can hardly get them off the ground. They go back with some kind of uh, seed money to start something. Of course, it's not huge. But uh, we make sure that they don't go back empty-handed. So they all go back with some equipment and then some small financial uh, amount that will at least help them to start something. Uh, you know, um, we can't give big amounts, but at least that is an encouragement. After the technical and uh, intellectual training and uh, 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 know-how we have given them to assist them with something concrete that will also take them. We're hoping with the improvement of the uh, finances of the community that we can increase uh, that uh, money that we're giving them and especially also increase the number of uh, young men and women that are coming to be trained. However, this does not dampen the joy of the trainees who know that technology holds the key to the development of any society in the world of today. The skill they acquired in Zinyari has prepared them for a new phase in their life. They have been handed a lifeline. One of the advantages in the ECOWAS protocol on free movement of persons, goods and services is the mobility of skills. So for these trainees, the 15 ECOWAS member states is their market. That is one of the benefits in the ECOWAS vision of regional integration.